Most of you know Albert Pike, but not many people know that his right hand was a Swiss from Octogon called Phileas Walder. And it was in fact the other way around, and it was in fact Albert Pike, who was the right hand of Swiss Phileas Walder from Switzerland, obeying the orders from Octogon, the motherland. Here you can see it. Pike's right hand was Phileas Walder from Switzerland. I'll show you the whole article. Here's what I showed you before here. Pike's right hand was Phileas Walder from Switzerland, who was a former Lutheran minister, a Masonic leader, occultist, and spiritualist. And um, well, here's the whole thing. It's about the three world wars made by Octagon, Switzerland. This is the fifth column, folks, from Switzerland, sleeper agents. Extremely dangerous. A menace to the world. I'll put in the link, you can read it all yourself. Thus, for furthermore explaining why old Albert Pike's Ku Klux Klan has a Swiss Templar's cross in the logo and the Swiss-German definition of the Ku Klux, which I've already explained in some of my other films and don't intend to repeat here. It even says, America's Invisible Empire. Why invisible? Well, that's Octogon from the motherland, Switzerland. And they know it. Yeah, this is Swiss, the Swiss flag here in the middle. The white cross on a red underground. And this is like, but the other way around, like the German, the Nazis had on their warplanes and tanks. Only it's the other way around. It's black, but still... In the corner here, this uh, the head is white, and here it's black. So, yeah, they know it. This is a badge they're wearing, and they know it. This is Swiss sleeper agents, the fifth column in America, who destroyed the dreams of America. Oh, here's some more of their invisible empire. <laughs> they even say it. I mean, they're so arrogant. You see. And uh, this is why it was not Albert Pike, you know, the, the big man behind, but it was Phileas Walder, the emissary of uh, Octogon. And uh, who stays invisible, because this is the invisible empire. Albert Pike was just a visible man, you know, to attract more customers, like Hitler and all the other visible men, like a man, like a, um, like a public relations officer, you know. The invisible our empire always stayed behind the screens. And this is Swiss uh, Phileas Valda and many more. They, these are the ones who raped America's dreams and they want to create three world wars. Well, we already, already had two of them. So Phileas Valder was one of the many emissaries of the motherland who explored Octagon's hatred, racism and the Swiss fifth column of the worldwide sleeper agents in a very sneaky way, similar to the sneaky Swiss tax evasion crimes and the financing of Adolf Hitler and the Nazi dictatorship, etc, etc. And in the 19th century, the US was still a relatively young country full of dreams and goodwill. So all these dark energies were not initiated in the US, because there hardly is any US history predating these events, except from the, the Native Americans, of course. So obviously, these circles came from across the Atlantic, where the first settlers came from, who had been practicing the undermining of entire peoples and countries with secret societies and secret wars, Camouflaged by a smile, thus raping humanity's dreams, hope, progress and stability for the sheer lust of power, control and money. Albert Pike lived in the 19th century from 1809 to 1891 and was a brigadier general during the US Civil War from 1861 to 1865. 
which was a war between the Confederate slavery state from the South and the pro-abolishment state, states from the Union in the North. The reason of the US Civil War was big money, just as the Second World War, by the way, and also slavery involved by millions of slaves in the concentration camps and around. And we all know who got filthy rich through World War II and the Nazi period. Yes, Switzerland, and it's still the richest and most expensive country in the world. And they got the idea from the Arabs and from Islam where there still is a huge tradition of using black slaves, whom they call Abd, being the word both for a black man and a slave, as in the word Abdullah, meaning the slave of Allah, for pious Muslims. So here you can see, they were in ancient Egypt, that's what I told you, that's, why, that's where they got the Templars treasure from, with which they founded the Swiss banks. And um, here this was in, here you can see the name Philae, as where the, the Swiss name Phileas Walder is referring to, the Swiss Templar, right? So this is why the slave ships were in fact Templar ships owned by the Swiss Templars banks of Octagon as the Templars founded Switzerland on August 1st, 1291, two and a half months after the Crusades and founding the Swiss banks with the famous Templars treasure from the pharaohs in Egypt. So this here was the final desti destination of the Crusades and uh, I mean to get back what was theirs in the first place as the Templars are European aristocracy and pharaohs, as the, the entire fa aristocracy are pharaohs. So they came to get back what was theirs. But it was only one part of the pharaohs, and that's why the Templars were persecuted by the rest of them, the kings. Well, I explained that in the film Pharisocracy. And with this they founded the Swiss banks uh, with this money in Octagon, yeah, here you can see where the Crusades, they went to exactly where the pharaohs are, were. And um, I'm putting in the links for you. This is what I've been telling you about. And this is why the pro-slavery Ku Klux Klan has a Swiss flag in their logo and a Swiss-German name, which I explained in my other film. And this is why it needed Swiss emissary agents as Phileas Walder and others to defend their big business by wars if necess necessary as the Second World War and the US Civil, Civil War set up by the Swiss and the Octagon Secret Templars organization. There you can see, Albert Pike kept some very dark company. Among these individuals were Phileas Walder, a Swiss occultist, well, etc. So, I'll put it in the links for you. And Pike was the Grand Master of the Order of the Palladium. This is the Palladium of the Templars, the ones who founded Switzerland. Octogon. This is Octogon. And America lost most lives, uh, soldiers, um, through the, um, uh, the US Civil War, actually. I'll put this in the links for you so you can quietly read the uh, the Swiss involvement in it all, which is the center of evil. I know them. The incredible evil. Humanity will stand a much better chance for peace without these ones here. Now, why do you think the southern states were called the Confederates or a Confederacy? 
Well, because that place in the Alps is called a confederacy, up to this very day. And we can see that date again, 1291, the last of the Crusades and the founding of Switzerland, the confederacy. You can find a lot of these things on the internet as well. You can buy them, you find them all over Switzerland, uh, you know, uh, uh, motor motor riders, motorcycle rider clubs, you know, having these sort of things and flags in the streets. Just like Phileas Valder was roaming about in the other confederation, the other confederacy. And um, I tell you, these are the ones who brought the US Civil War. And with how many deads, were, dead people was it again? 300 million or so? 300,000 I think it was, wasn't it? These are the ones who did it. And these are the ones behind Albert Pike and his Satanism and, and all these things, his three world wars. And they are the ones, the fifth column in the United States. This, this is where they went to first. Now they're all over. You get it? And equally to the JFK murder set up by Octagon and their Swiss sleeper agent J. Edgar Hoover, see my other film about it, the murder of President Lincoln in 1865, short before the end of the Civil War, also was a Swiss operation with their man Albert Pike's involvement and to protect Octagon's big business through slavery, cotton picking and the clothing industry. Here we can see it. Lincoln's assassin John Wilkes Booth was a member of Pike's Knights of the Golden Circle and the Palladium Order. He was in New Orleans during the winter of 1863-64 and conspired with Pike, Benjamin Sliddle and Ad Admiral uh, Baird to assassinate Lincoln. And, uh, well, Swiss Philly as well, there was around as well. But they always stay, like, behind, you know. The big ones, they stay behind. They did it. Yeah, this is Octagon. They did it. Albert Pike, Phileas Valder. They did it. The Knights Templars who founded Switzerland. They are behind it. Well, do you really think the Swiss banks could have stolen billions of American dollars or maybe trillions if they wouldn't have any fifth column sleeper agents within the US? You really think so? All these guys with, uh, with Swiss names, Bradley Birkenfeld. What kind of an American name is that Birkenfeld? It's all Swiss. It's all Swiss German. Now wake up and get your country back. And it was not only the Muslims selling the black slaves to the Templar traders, who were by that time of course acting under different names and organizations like the KKK, which is in fact a branch of a lot old organization. But it was also the black African kings who sold their own subjects to the Templars and of course the African kings and the aristocracy are from that very same pharaonic descent as those ones in Europe, and the Templars themselves making one of those insider deals. The African kings made some great business in the slave trade and kept their subjects under very bad conditions, as cattle waiting for Octagon's slave trader ships to pass by and pick them up for some good old cotton picking. So please, my black brothers, it's not all of them, all of the whiteys doing this. I mean, the Iris wouldn't do it, would they now? No, never. So the white people too, they have been, we have been the slaves of the, the aristocracy in the Middle Ages and the feudal times, which was like the same thing, you know, going on. And uh, so there are secret organizations who also organize against white people. So my black brothers and the whiteys, let's get together and organize and get the real evil ones who are doing this. Yeah, right? Like Swiss emissary or grey eminence Phileas Valder, who went all over from India to China, Switzerland, the US and France, where he knew Eliphas Levy, another well-known occultist who made that famous 
Baphomet drawing and whose real name was Alphonse Louis Constant, changing his name into a Jewish name, though he was a Catholic, he was not Jewish at all. So here it says, and that he was a great admirer of Phileas Valder, at whose instance he was he consecrated himself to the demon Antichrist, etc. And here they talk about the existence of the Palladian Order, the Palladian Order of the Templars. Well, I'll show you the whole article here. Uh, this is about devil's worship. I'll put it in the links. It's about devil, devil's worship in France. It's some real dark energies emitting from Switzerland. And they're all over. Oh boy, these people can can keep quiet. They keep silence. Oh boy. If you ask them, everything is clean and neutral and innocent. They never did anything, right? So here it is on Wikipedia. I'll put it in the links for you. This uh, Eliphas uh, Levy, there was a guy who draw drew this one, who made a drawing of the Baphomet of the Templars. Uh, yeah, well, I'll put it in the link. So this is a worldwide conspiracy, all coming out of Switzerland and the Templars, yeah, related to Albert Pike, Phileas Valder, or the main man, Eliphas Levy, who was not Jewish at all. Um, yeah. It's worldwide, it's evil, it's Satanist. Um, it, it all relates to Switzerland, really. <laughs> this is where it all from. Well, it says, you know, this... Uh, the miraculous levitation of Phileas Valder from an immense distance. This occult personage having become tra transcendently cognizant of what was going forward in China. Well, th this is real, this th goes very deep. And this, the, the same thing the Nazis did, you know, they went into the occult. Uh, it's, it's everywhere the same thing. It's worldwide, it's occult, it's evil. And it's not only, and, and they try to, you know, to get normal people into their things. And, and that was, that was the, the, the task Albert Pike was going to do, you know, to attract other people. But this is the real force behind it from Switzerland. Albert Pike couldn't do these sort of things. Levitate and... So, this was the real evil behind it. Swiss Phileas Valder and Octagon and the rest of this gang. Right, it says again in the original text. I'll put in the links for you under the video. All these men were members of the Palladian Order, who were Satanists, believing in Baphomet, the devil, and that from the Swiss Phileas Valder, after three generations, would be born the Antichrist much later in the year 1962. And here we can read it. Yeah. Phileas Valder here it says so Phileas Valder mortified and maddened began to curse and swear like the first pope the experiment disillusioned the assembly and they thoughtfully repaired to the seventh temple which being sacred to fire was equipped with a vast central furnace surmounting it by a chimney and containing a gigantic figure figure of uh, Baphomet, in spite of the intolerable hate pervading the entire chamber, this idol contrived to preserve its outlines and to glow without pulverizing. Now, a ceremony of an impressive nature occurred in this ap apartment, a wild cat, well, etc, etc. Well, they, they, these are some real scary things, you know. It's not just politics. There's a whole different agenda behind it. And it comes all out of Switzerland. It's not, it's not just Albert Pike, the man behind, in the shade, you know that they uh, 
they are far more dangerous and far more important. There's some more about the Palladian initiation and the adventurer. Uh, Calcutta, uh, Phileas Valder, he was everywhere. So and here's some more, you see Albert Pike and the Palladian Rite. Here's some more about what Albert Pike and his Swiss pals were into, you know. Yeah, the Palladian Rite. And uh, connected to fascism. Very Swiss indeed. And indeed, the Swiss Phileas Valder had a daughter called Sophia, who became the high priestess of the Palladian Order, to which also Albert Pike belonged. Thus, Pike's secret order of the skull and bones of the Arkansas University, being a Palladian Order and sister lodge of the other skull and bones of Yale. Albert Pike was a lawyer and had been to the university, as so many men born into power become lawyers. So, you can read this here. Um, so the reasons for her, her disenchantment with the Palladian centered round another high priest, priestess called Sophia Valda, nominally the daughter of Phileas Valda, a Protestant minister and high-ranking Freemason, but in reality the issue of a union between Lucifer and Walder's mistress Ida Jacobson. That's the woman they had the disappear. According to a prediction, Sophia would go to Jerusalem, where in the summer of 1896 she would, as a result of a union with the demon Bitru, give birth to a daughter 33 years later. This daughter would also have a daughter by the demon Dikarabia, who, after a further 33 years, so in 1962, would give birth to the, <coughs> to the Antichrist. So in mean, these sort of things, these people believe in. I mean, this is this is Swiss, folks. Yeah. Again, Sophia Valda, uh, Albert Pike. Well, just read it yourself, you know. So, if Phileas Valda's lineage would give birth to the Antichrist, it is only logic to conclude that Philia Valder was the important character here, and all Albert Pike his right hand, just as this very same organization had Adolf Hitler as their man in the lights to attract many followers, as followers follow the one that leads them as their leader, of which the German translation is the Führer. So you can read the whole article here, I'll put it in the links. i just put it in the links, eh? The mother of the high priestess, Sophia, got especially chosen for that purpose and got rid after the birth. Nobody knows what happened to her. See the same Swiss cross here again, just like the one on the, uh, on the Ku Klux Klan. All in all, reminding us of that Frankenstein thing of the Eurovision and the rise of the or resurrection of that phoenix with that Eurovision logo of a diamond saying join us and that fits the square and compass. You see, here you can put the, uh, uh, the compass here, it goes on top here and here is the, uh, the square. That's why it looked familiar to all of us, you see. Well, I'm not sure if I want to join you in this, eh? Phileas Valder was a Swiss Luther Lutheran minister and a priest, and a certain Dr. Bataille describes him as the most disgusting and evil person on earth. Yes, the Swiss always have their dirty little fingers in it. As we can see here, Walder saying they have him Impressive goals, a half million men, primary in the lower Midwest, with the stated purpose of fermenting revolution and the expulsion or death of the abolitionists and free Negroes. All these sort of things. And here, the, here so, out of this chaos, a new order will rise. This is uh, Pike saying this. Oh, charming, isn't it? 
And just as this Palladium of the Templars is related to the Order of the Solar Temple, also called OTS in French, where the Solar Temple is in fact the Palladium. And from 1994 to 1997, a wave of ritual murders through code O2T went through the Order, most of the victims from oh yeah, Switzerland again, but also some in France and Canada with almost a hundred victims and maybe even more, including children, who got all suffocated with a plastic bag for a slow ritual death to lift out the soul, as I explained in another video. Then, after they had a couple of rounds through their skulls and finally incinerated by a flamethrower. You can see that mass murders and suicides, it's in, uh, it's in Wikipedia, so you can read it yourself here yeah, about the mass murders are oh, real charming that's Switzerland and all this is the legacy of the Palladium Order of the Templars and Swiss Phileas Valda these are real wicked things going on and covered up by man on key positions and always Switzerland is involved some everywhere I mean, why do you think the Nazis were so much into the occult, eh? The OTS, even after all those wicked murders, still exists and have their headquarters in Zurich, Switzerland. The concentrated form of evil is sheer unbelievable in Octagon of the Alps, where the Swiss develop incredible high criminal energies beyond all imagination and probably not entirely of this world. And never in all those videos I felt such an evil atmosphere around me breathing in my neck as while doing this video here.